Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another smartphone couch video. <laughs> Being masculine is simply taking action. Simply taking action. You know, there's a lot of talk about being more masculine and everything. And of course, you know, there's always that bullshit about toxic masculinity and everything. And yeah, yeah, you, you got some guys that can go too far, be tyrants and shit. But I'm talking about just real masculinity, just being a man. See, the nature of man is to take action, to impose its will on its environment. Being a man means you're going to, like, embody the house of the man. So you're going to be that warrior. But, see, in order to defend, you got to take action. Something coming against you or your family, you got to take action. When you're talking about being the eagle, you know, that's the logical, rational part of you. You know, that means you're still taking action, maybe mentally. You, you're solving a problem. So you're saying... You know, okay, like a problem could be, an issue could be, all right, you have a child. You want that child to go to college. You know, you might not make that much money. So the ego in you is going to say, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is how much we're going to save. This is what we're going to do to get the money uh, to get the child into college or, you know, maybe get the child into this program, encourage them in, in their academics, their sports, something. Basically, you're going to solve the problem. Regardless of what it is. And you're going to solve it in a logical, rational manner. So you're still taking action, but you're taking it mentally. And you're also seeing ahead. You're seeing ahead what's coming. So it's like, okay, I know what action to take to deal with this. When you talk about the hunter, the hunter aspect, it's taking action getting a job. Every man, every single man needs a job. Every single man. That's why a lot of men are going crazy now. They might not have a job or they might pull back from it. That's not masculine. Masculine energy wants to be active and wants to stay busy. And if you're talking about making money, well, you got to be active to make money. Any man who's comfortable just sitting back and having the money just come to him without any action on his part, he's not fully a man. We want to go out and do what we got to do. So that's the thing. And then even making love to a woman, being the healer or restoring those under our care, that's still active. That's action. That's all it is. That's all it is. However you want to look at it, some people try to have, they got whole books and, you know, they trying to, you know, got some political agenda or trying to say you got to do this or that. But it come down to taking action. What action are you taking? What are you doing? It means to do. That's masculine energy. You know, so a lot of men, you got a lot of men now, they're not sure. But see, they've been either raised in environments where they didn't have to be active. You know, maybe in single parent households or, you know, they'll listen to some political, you know, some political elite or something saying, oh, no, don't do that. Well, see, I'm going to tell you something now. A lot of those elites, they might say they might not want you to step up because then you might go against whatever bullshit that they're trying to promote. Understand something, when you get society as a whole that says, oh, this is bad, this is bad, that's because you're going against their agenda. Or you get some women who got a problem with you taking action, but then you got a lot of women who got masculine energy themselves. So if they're masculine, you're masculine, first of all, y'all going to click. Most y'all, The most y'all can do is work together. That's the most y'all can do. There's a lot of men who get into relationships with women who got more masculine energy. And they can't figure out what's happening. In fact, if a man, say a man is masculine and he get with that woman who got masculine energy. They both active in everything. Uh, you know, because she, you know, she look good. She got fat ass though, right? One of the things that's happening there is, you know, one of their energy, somebody's energy got to be masculine, somebody got to be feminine. There's going to be a clash and the dude might not even know it. He's going to find at some point his dick ain't going to get hard because she done took it. She, she done took all the masculine part, you know. And I know some guys will say, well, there's not enough feminine women around. And that, that's an issue, but that's something for another day. Don't talk about it in the comments. So, you know, that's another issue. I'm talking about for the men. 
Because, see, a lot of men can solve stuff by just really outmanning whatever. See, another part of masculine energy, taking action, bringing order. I'm going to tell you what, if you had more masculine, truly masculine men out here, you wouldn't need as big a police force. You wouldn't have half the shit that's going on now. You wouldn't have half the shit that's going on now in the streets. If you had more men, if you had more fathers. Like, I'm big on the father thing. Those who know, I got my two sons. One thing, people always compliment me on how my sons behave when they're out. That's because I ain't playing that shit. Their mother ain't playing that shit. Supports what I got to do if I got to check them or something. And really, I haven't had to check them because you got to raise, I raised them right. I raised them right. They have a certain amount of discipline and stuff. They started off that way, you know? So they really haven't been a problem. But... And you need other fathers out there to do that, but that's part of masculine energy any, anyway. That's part. That's a that's a subtype. That's a subtext to the house of the man, being the father, and everything. And what does a father do? He takes action. He protects the family. Action. He sees ahead. Action. He goes make that money. He provides. Action. You know. And then if anybody got a problem, he can he can heal them. He can restore them. You know. In fact, when you get women, and deep down, even some women who say they want, like that man who want money, who got all this money, deep down, they saying they, they really want that protector, even if they don't know what I provide. And you got a lot of women talking about that. That's why they want that. But see, it's not even so much the money part, it's the energy part. They want that man's going to do it. And then part of... The action part, the man is going to take the lead in providing or doing what he got to do. He ain't going to wait. He ain't going to need the woman to say, well, baby, you do this or that. Usually, if you get that situation, that's a woman with masculine energy. A man, he just going to do it anyway. The woman don't have to say shit to him. She don't have to say shit. Or she, she should have to sit back and chill. In fact, I would just say this to the fellas. Most women want to do that. Most women want to do that. I lost count of how many women, so-called independent women, you know, they they got themselves together once they came across that man who was truly masculine. And, you know, we can talk about game and all that. You know, some guys talking about looks. But, you know, when women come across that energy, they respond. Hell, even in the bedroom, even in the bedroom, women want the man. They want that guy who won't, look, let me just be raw with it. He's going to fuck the shit out of him. He's going to bring the man to him. He ain't going to be sitting there chilling and be all passive and shit. They turn off with him. You know? He's going to say, nah, baby. <clears throat> and it's mine. Who's, who's pussy is this shit? Man? Seriously. I know some people might laugh at that, but seriously, they want that type of energy. That's why you get some men who, you know, might not look like fashion models. Might got that rough edge to them, but they got that masculinity. That hits women on a deeper level. Deep, Even the masculine women get hit on a deep level with that. But it's about that man's going to take action. So you want to, if you want to step up as a man, well, the, first, the main thing is take action. You don't like something about yourself, take action. You don't like your environment, take action. Tomorrow is Sovereign Saturday. You want to be sovereign. Take action. Take action. What are you going to do about it? You need to make money? Do What are you doing? Take action. Always, always, always. All right? So, anyway, that's all I have for now. Yeah, well, check out Saturday. Uh, definitely check out Sovereign Saturday tomorrow and everything. And I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>